Good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday. It's Billy with you on this Wednesday, June 28, 2017 day. Um... I would, uh, before we start today's special montage, which I will give you guys in just a moment, I want to give a quick birthday shout out to Luke Jappers, aka Friday's Luke, aka Luke J6295, the host of Friday's Luke J6295. His birthday is today. He is 22 years old. So, Luke, happy birthday to you, sir. I mean, look, and I look forward to seeing you again on Friday for Friday's Luke J6295, episode number 155. But otherwise, um, uh, again, Luke, happy birthday to you, and and hopefully today will go really good for you and Brandon this afternoon. All right, now uh, the reason why I give you this special montage is because the national championship celebration for the Gator baseball team is today from four thirty to six at McKeithen Stadium, and you want to know why? Well, I'll tell you why. The Gators won the College World Series over LSU last night, six to one. That's why. So as a result, for the first time in base in, in the history of Gator baseball, the Gators are national champions. I'm really happy about that. And this montage is just for them. And we look forward to seeing you guys at McKeithen Stadium very soon. And just to coming up next because the mod because the national championship celebration montage. From Bikini Stadium starts now. Let the celebration begin. And now, our feature presentation. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is this is our national championship celebration montage celebrating Florida's national championship win at the College World Series uh, last night in Omaha. Um. Um, the, uh, montage is starting right now, but however, there has been, um, a time, the, yeah, a time change for tonight's event. Um, I told you it was going to be from 4.30 to 6, but according to FloridaGators.com, it's now said that the national championship celebration is now going to last from 6 to 8 p.m. And let me tell you something. There's going to be a lot of celebrating. Not only the fans are going to be in the stands, but we also have some very, very special guests that are going to be joining the baseball team on their national championship celebration. Um, not only the Dazzlers, but my good friends from the front of the University of Florida cheerleaders. They're going, to, they're going to be over there as well. So make sure you guys see me with them Uh coming up uh, when the montage is going on, because the cheerleaders are going to be there, the Dazzlers are going to be there, I assume Albert and Alberta are going to be there too. So stick around, because the montage is coming up from, Al from Alfred A. McKeithen Stadium as the montage uh, begins with our national championship celebration as the Florida Gators, as of, as of right now, your College World Series champions. Let the celebration begin now. See you at the Mac. We see with you the, the competitiveness on the mound. It's something that I've talked about quite a bit. When you step over that white line, it's like you turn into a different dude. Because for those that don't know Alex personally, he's like a big teddy bear. So nice off the field, but if you mess with him on the field, he is going to destroy you. Is that <laughs> yeah. Um, the whole pitching staff, uh, we're, we're just trying to give our best and uh, show a lot of passion for this team. And, uh, you know, I think that's just the fiery spirit that uh, Sully and the other coaches bring into us. It was so important to get game one in Omaha. And I think we, we've seen that. The team that goes 2-0 in the bracket certainly has a great chance to move to the finals, which you guys did. So getting that ball in, in game one and going out and competing against TCU, what was that like? Uh, I was just happy that we got another shot. Uh, last year, the year before, we had great seasons, but it didn't finish how we wanted to. And uh, I just uh, wanted to put this team on the right track and uh, just hand the ball to Brady 1-0 and uh, let Brady and Jackson do their thing and you know, come home with the championship. And with that, too, I mean, we've talked to Sully over the years about you learn something every year in Omaha, and obviously you guys were able to put it all together. What are some of the things that you guys as a group talked about in the locker room when you got back there to, to try to be successful this year? Just uh, camaraderie. Um, 
I think we have a ton of talent here, but it's more than that to win the last game of the year. And uh, I think it was just playing as a family and, you know, playing for each other and not ourselves. And it's hard to notice that, but we can notice that as a team. And I really think that was the difference this year. Now, maybe uh, more importantly than going out and, and winning, you had a, a tougher job. You had to be the keeper of a, a certain little cup. for the team and uh, I passed that uh, the keeper job to Gary Milchin so he'll, he'll have to answer all the questions for now on. <laughs> Video board, folks. It will out towards center field. Watson going back. He's at the track. He's not going to get it. it. Ball's going to bounce, bounce on the wall. Low double. Jonathan Indian yeah. taps his chest, and the Gators have a three. Great by the lead. lead. Here's the one, two. Breaking ball. Line back up the middle. That's a base hit. And Ribby comes through with a Ribby. Langworthy steps on home plate, and the Gators get one back. Good pitch. Swung on. Line drive. Right center field. Dykeman is going to score easily. Smith is on his way to second. Here's the throw. Oh, oh, he's out. Save. Oh, my. There you go. Good uh, pitch. Swung on. There's a line I drive. 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 And the Gators lead, lead two, two to nothing. nothing. Wait, wait. Uh, he's on! Wait, hold by! Wait, hit field. All right, scored. Wait, 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 he's safe! Hold by! He was one. Ball. Ball. Second base. Base. On the first. That's what the ball game is all over. First, this is on. There's one another, and they one another. And then four has won the national championship in baseball. Oh my! They, they won it. Tigers. So yesterday was obviously a big moment, and uh, I saw a couple guys getting teary-eyed. I, I can honestly tell you that Nick and I were both crying up at the booth when, when that happened, and I know I got a lot of tweets and texts and everything else. Uh, there were many Gator fans doing the same thing, so still pretty emotional. But yesterday, 
Obviously, the Gators won a national championship. What some may not have known, it was also the 21st birthday of Deacon Lippin. And that's what we got. Happy birthday, Deacon! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Deacon! Happy birthday to you! Thank you. So many uh, big moments. Deacon this year, and you know, I, I think it was a unique team, and we've talked about it before. There was, it was silly. It was ups, it was downs, it was a lot of different things, and you know, I'm sure when you guys look at your batting averages, you say, you know, it's maybe not the year that I wanted to have, but well, you guys man. always came through, and there was always big hits, there was always moments, and whether it was a leadoff guy or the guy that was ninth in the lineup, that, that was a pretty special group, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, this team is just incredible. Uh, we're a really close group of guys, and uh, you know we're a brotherhood. But I think what made this team so special was that, like you just stated, you know you never really knew who was going to step up. And for you, the stepping up was was in the postseason. You had one home run all year. You had a big home. National championship celebration it was, everybody. Uh, the baseball team coming out with the with their national championship trophy, which you guys will see a picture of. Um, and just to, if you guys definitely had saw the picture of it already. If you guys have not, please check it out. It's gonna be really cool. And and the entire uh, Gator baseball in the uh, all new in all the Gator baseball fans. Sung happy birthday to uh, Deacon Lippett because, uh, as you know, guys, Deacon Lippett turned 21 earlier this week. So happy birthday to you again, Deacon. And uh, most importantly, um, Jeff Cardoza, who uh, who called Game Two of the College World Series last night with Mick Hub uh, the the College World Series Finals last night with Mick Hubert, the voice of the Gators to be exact. Um, he was just an absolute. National Championship Heaven, and I wouldn't blame him, but otherwise, um, so congratulations to the Florida Gators on winning the College World Series, and and like they say, Gator Nation is everywhere, whether you're in Omaha or not, and and we hope the, we go, you guys hope you enjoy the college baseball season for, at the University of Florida, I know I have, and again guys, the Florida Gators are the National Champions. We'll, and uh, we'll have another montage for you coming up later on next month. Until then, the building is saying goodnight for now. And again, congratulations to the Gators, they're national champions. We'll see you all July 22nd for Tropicana Field. Good night.